Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Leah. I'm an independent pop artist and a singer and a songwriter. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post music-related content, such as my original music, alongside music videos, behind the scenes, vlogs, reaction videos, and covers. If that sounds like a fun time, please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family. Today we are doing a reaction of none other than Billie Eilish, her song What Was I Made For from the Barbie movie. Did you guys watch the Barbie movie? And if you did, did you like it? I haven't seen it yet as of now when I'm recording, but I'm very excited to see it because I've heard only great things about it. And by the way, I have a song called Dream House. The hook is I'm not a Barbie girl. If you wanna check it out, if you're tired of all the Barbie songs, um, or if you're not tired of all the Barbie songs, you can check it out. If you're also tired of all the Barbie songs and you want something that's like, I'm not a Barbie, you can still check it out. Bottom line, it's got so dark all of a sudden. Bottom line is, check it out. It's called Dream House and I'll link it down below. I released it in 2022. I shot a really fun music video. I did it all independently, so I would really appreciate it if you check it out and let me know what you think. Maybe like the video or leave it a comment. Would appreciate that so much. But without further ado, let's get into the Billie Eilish song, What Was I Made For? I believe she wrote this with her brother, Phineas, who produced it, I'm pretty sure. So I read how they wrote the song. They were show the rough cut of the Barbie movie so they can write the song. And they had a little bit of a, uh, writer's block, which is what happens when you don't feel inspired and you don't know what to write about. The song that we're about to hear apparently is the first song they drafted and wrote after their writer's block. I'm very excited to hear it and what Billie Eilish said in an interview is that when she was writing it, she wasn't thinking about herself. She was really thinking about Barbie and what she would feel and think and all of that. But then at the end, when she heard it after a few days when she was listening to the song and she was like wait a minute i i feel that way you know and she said that she often writes thinking that she's not writing for herself but after she is done and she hears the song she actually realizes that it is about it is the way she feels as well so i'm excited to hear this song and i did see that somewhere she said prepare to sob i don't know if i'm prepared to sob I don't know, I have good makeup on, but I'm kind of ready. And let's go. Ugh, I love her voice. I used to float, now I just fall down. I used to know, but I'm not sure. Just something you paid for, what was I made for? Oh my god, these lyrics are so relatable. And if if you put them in the context of the Barbie movie, it is a hundred percent about her, especially with I'm just something you paid for, what was I made for? And but if you take it out, those are all metaphors that can be related to anybody's life and we all go through phases where we we don't know we feel lost and we don't know if we're in the right path and like what were we even meant to be doing you know so I think in that sense it's very relatable and the music is beautiful the writing is beautiful absolutely normal for Billie Eilish and Phineas I'm not surprised at all it is so beautiful so far and I love the visual I love that she opened the Barbie box and she's pulling all these like 
iconic Billie Eilish outfits. I see the ones with her merch. I see the Gucci ones that she wore a lot in the past. The Chanel one, I'm pretty sure she wore it in an award show. The yellow one, I can't quite see. Is that from Bad Guy? I don't know, but I like it. I really like it so far. Let's keep going. This is so beautiful. It's like a lullaby. It's so beautiful. I always say that about her voice that it sounds like a lullaby, but it really does. It's it's just so beautiful and her harmonies are so beautiful every time. And she is so beautiful too. I love the hairstyle. I love the Barbie aesthetic, but I do love that it's not too much of like a dull look or even like sexualizing her in any way it's just her sitting there with this yellow dress and this beautiful hairdo and she is putting the, her outfits on hangers it's so beautiful Someday I'm the piano is so beautiful and her vocalizing Get emotional. Her voice is beautiful. I love it. I got very emotional for a second when the wind was coming in and then the rain because she's just sitting there organizing her clothes and it's so peaceful and wholesome and, and cute and she did not deserve that to happen. But it seems like the rain is over now, so maybe things are gonna get a little better. The, the music is beautiful. The piano sounds so beautiful. Her voice with the piano is absolutely, absolutely stunning. It sounds like they're just in your ear and it's so quiet and peaceful. It's like something I, I want to listen to in the darkness. Think I forgot how to be happy Something I'm not But something I can be Something I wait for Something I'm made for Gotta love a turnaround happy ending i love how the lyrics turned around let me read them for you so in the verse one she says i used to float now i just fall down i used to know but i'm not sure now what was i made for what was i made for so in the first verse she's asked she's saying that she doesn't she's not sure what was she made for 
And in the second as well, I'm just something you paid for, but what was I really made for? So in the first verse one and two, she is questioning what was she made for? In the second verse, she introduces another person, her boyfriend, and for the Barbie movie, that will be Ken. But she's saying, I'm sad again. Don't tell my boyfriend that's not what he's made for. What was I made for? So I like that she's using the title, the hook in the first verse as a question in the second verse she's also using it to talk about somebody else and about herself again asking the question what was i made for and the outro really is a lot more positive because she's saying think i forgot how to be happy something i'm not but something i can be something i wait for something i made for something i made for i love that it, it feels like a full circle because in the beginning she's asking what is she made for and at the end she resolves it she is uh, meant to be happy even though she might not be happy right now she will be something that she she knows she can be and she just has to wait for or work for I really like it and it did make me want to cry for a second there so pretty what a beautiful song and the video is so simple but so beautiful and that's I think something Billie Eilish does a lot she is able to stay very simple but absolutely beautiful both in her uh, sound because this song is just a ballad there's nothing too 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 dramatic about it it's piano ballad there's some pads some like the production is interesting absolutely but it's nothing um too too like crazy or big or dramatic it's very simple and beautiful but the beauty with Billie Eilish is in the simplicity she really knows how to make a simple song absolutely stunning and that I think is very hard to do because sometimes it's much easier to go big you know because when you go big and dramatic you get that wow effect but it's really hard to get the wow effect when it, everything is very clean and simple and Billie Eilish and Phineas are really good at that so 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 good at that and I do respect them and look up to them for that so much because I do think that that is very hard to achieve and the visual as well is very simple this I mean it is a big production 100% but it's nothing crazy it's not like Ariana Grande's seven rings you know where you have the whole house and, and 10,000 people in there and the diamond rings and this and that and that which that is absolutely an amazing video in itself for another reason. I'm not trying to compare them. I'm definitely not trying to like pit them against each other. Definitely don't get me wrong about that. I'm against people doing that with women. I'm just saying that there's, there's beauty in both of them and I love a dramatic video. But in this case, they're not. And that's absolutely beautiful as well. They executed the video in an amazing way and it though it is a big 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 production and a lot of people are involved a hundred percent it feels simple and intimate it feels like you really feel close to her and I, I really really like this it has a lot of views 14 million views as of the day I'm recording this and as of right now I have not seen the Barbie movie but I'm very excited to go see it everybody around me has been watching it and I really want to go see it but yeah, but you should also check out my song Dream House if you'd like some more Barbie content. <laughs> I really, really like this song. It's a beautiful song, beautifully executed. Like always, Billie Eilish is an amazing artist, as well as Phineas. I really, really like it. And thank you so much for watching, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, I really appreciate if you would to follow my channel and hit the like button and take a look at these two videos right over here. We got Dream House, my original song Dream House with the music video. And right here, I have the behind the scenes of that as well. Please take a look at them as well if you like the Barbie content or if you don't, still. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.